How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay tutorial video here. In this video we're going to show you how to download Halo Online. Now I will leave a link in the description down below, but stop! Before you do, I'm going to show you how to actually download this thing so it will actually be a functional part of your PC rather than a complete mess in your folders. So let's go into it here. So we'll go to Google right here, type in Halo Online. And now you would think click the El Dorito page right here. That's actually what you don't want to do because it'll just take the link to download it will just take you to the subreddit. So go to Halo Online Reddit, you click on that, and you'll scroll down here to download links for 0.6 major update. That's what you want to download. Click on that. And now I found that the Media Fire link was the most effective link. Uh, when I was downloaded, it was peak hours. It took me about 30 minutes, but it was because there was a lot of traffic. It might be a little bit faster for you. And plus, Mediafire is a rather reliable source. Uh, you don't have to really worry about viruses or anything like that. But this is a very reliable uh, content as well, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. So you just click download right there. Takes you to the Mediafire page and hit download. Now, I do already have this game installed, so I don't need to show you guys that. But one thing I do want to show you is that uh, it will take you to your downloads folder. That's, this is where. Uh, right here. This is where you'll find the file. Now I suggest you remove that executable file into a folder that makes sense because you don't want to, because if you double click on it, it will extract in the downloads folder. So all the files in the game will be in your downloads folder, making it a complete mess. And so what you want to do is say that, say this is the, uh, this top file right here is the executable file. Hit control X to cut it. And then what I do is I have an external drive on my F drive called games, made a folder called that. Then I created a folder called Halo Online, click on that, and then I paste it in there, and then I extracted all the files into this folder. Just before it makes a lot more sense, and so then it makes it a lot easier to find the game but in case you need to fix anything, or just um, make any kind of updates or changes you want to the game as well. So that's how you do it right there. And then you just double click on that. It will extract in the folder that's located. Make sure you read all the file paths. Make sure you make sure, make sure if there are any check boxes that you want them to be checked. Sometimes uh, game companies can sneak in a little extra information that you may not want to give them. And uh, other than that, that's about it really. And then you just follow the wizard and you'll be able to download and play Halo online. So guys, if you found this video, helpful i really do appreciate you coming by and checking out the channel uh, i will be i did stream this uh, halo online a lot on twitch the other night for like six hours it was a lot of fun playing that classic halo 3 feels all the member berries in the world were the other night so if you want to catch me on twitch link is in the description down below you can see me there and if you're new to the channel i'll be uploading uh tutorial videos more tutorial videos on Halo Online, and also more Halo content, possibly some more Halo Genesis, because that's maybe the new game that's going to be called. Anyways, guys, I do appreciate you all coming by and checking out this video. I hope it helped you out a lot. Link is in the description down below for the download link, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.